Here we go, Joseph DeLuca. The cloud, uh, crowd now getting loud. We've got an incredible matchup here, buddy. Uh, this is going to be a heck of a lot of fun. And this is, uh, it's not do or die for Optic, but it's uh, its sort of feel like must win territory. Whenever you get upset in pool play, it becomes that very quickly. Yeah, exactly. Again, you don't want to go towards that loser's bracket as you go in towards those days. If you, you missed that, yeah, we're going to Seattle April 20th through the 22nd. Excited about that one. A place we've never been before. So a new place for the CWL. I'll be excited to go to, go to that event. But as you said, here we go. Optic Gaming versus FaZe Clan. All right, kicking it off here on Valkyrie. And we've been talking a lot about Zuma. He is a freak. He has been dominant in just about every game mode over this past like 30 day stretch with the Pro League. And he's catching a stun off the rip. I uh, say, look at that. You can see that slows down all of phase. It looked like it hit three or four. That allows Optic to get in a position, a great stun off the start, but a couple of kills going phase's way. Zuma now trying to get in the hard point, joining Priesta here. He'll go ahead and push out, take that challenge against Crim6, and he's able to win it. You see on X-Ray now, the next wave of Optic Gaming players coming in. Zuma still has his nade to work with, which at least kind of separates those two players and isolates Karma inside, allows him to push. And again, three kills on the kill feed for FaZe, and early time here on the opening hard point. Yeah, you can see that's a big kill out of Crim6. That basically it doesn't allow them to earn some early time, but you know, I heard it here. We're going to go to a listen-in, an Astro Gaming listen-in with Optic Gaming. Watch out, Sutter. Good. Main door, main door. Four, 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 four. Push it up, push it up. Yeah, they're going to spawn there. Someone go right, go right. I'm going right, I'm going right. I'm one shot at army. I'm dead, I'm dead. Okay. There's two, there's two in the middle. Go all the way around. They saw me go, they saw me go. They're going to be here. One's going to pick this up. One in garage, one garage. Hold on, Matt. He's garage? Yeah. One's going to be window. I'm nading window. Likewise. I nading window too. Sandbex. Oh, they got me. He got me in the back. He's back right Hit front, hit front, hit front. Hit front, hit front. Go through middle. I'm going through middle. We're coming front, Damon. We're coming front. We're going, Damon. door got me. Replace two in hill. One pushing front. One's pushing barrels, pushing barrels. Watch out front, watch out front. Barrels. Barrels dead. Watch out hill. Replace two in hill. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. He was weak. He was weak. Watch out window. Watch out window. I got him. I got him. Back door. 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 Oh, I got him. Yo, they're going new. They're going new. They're going new. One went new, by the way. Hold, hold, hold. Okay, you can go Seth. No, I didn't get tricked. You guys can all go. You guys can all go. I have a fighter pilot. What guy's in bunker? Someone go wood. Someone just go wood. Yeah, I'm going to go all the way around. You guys should go bunker. You guys should go left. Or right, sorry. Hit the patty. Priest is on you. I'm coming to wood. One's an elbow. Attaches an elbow. There's two in the back. Okay, I'm coming to you, Matt. Just take your time. Stare. One's a, yeah, in the room. He's in bunker shooting. Top wood. Wood, 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 wood. One's middle. He's going to go wood, I think, Matt. He's right here. I need it. I got it. Still, he's still in mid-room mid Zuma. I spawned spawn close. I spawned yeah, close. Yeah, yeah. One's mid-room, mid-room Zuma. You might pinch that or go, or go hold, window. Hold, 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 hold. I'm going to attach. I'm here. I'm mid. Wood, 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 wood. One shot. Flanking you guys, Zuma. Absolutely. No, he got me. One shot behind you guys. I was one shot. He's going to come school stairs. I'm going to go around. I'm going to go around. Push out wood. I'm getting shot from wood. One's back to hill. Back to hill. School stairs and one's middle. School stairs. School stairs. One more hill. Back to hill. Coming in. I'm coming in. Priest are on me. I got one. I got one. Back to back oh, side door. Nice. Back to door. Back to door. Back to door. Back to door. He's close right. Close right. Pushing out door. Push. Window. Yeah, he got me. Window. Got me. Window. Window. Push. Push. One's close. Push. Close to us, Ian. Window, Dad. Is the penny school set right away? I'm weak. Oh, I got killed, Damon. Stay up. One's uh, middle. 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 One's guys, middle. rotate. Guys, yeah, rotate. 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 Where's the guy middle? Yep, yep. He's in mid building, I think. So. I got him. Close to Dad. I think there's more. Two at all. Two at all. Come on, give me the closet, Seth. Two. Optic Gaming surviving a very slow start here from Scump. He's 3-10, and, ten and uh, honestly, he had a series like this against Rise to close out Division A, but most of the time, most of the time for Scump, when he starts slow on a hard point, we talk about it all the time, we yeah. sound like broken records, at one point he picks it up, and when he starts to pick it up, that is where Optic Gaming comes alive, but... You just gotta, you just gotta wonder, man. Maybe Zuma too much right now. He's at 11 and five. Yeah, Priest are right behind him at 10 and five. There's replays as well, as well as they control this office hill. Attach. He's doing a great job staying alive. But look at Zuma. He's so far pushed up. Just puts pressure on the map. He has that good spawn. Again, this is a hill that we've seen Phase control time and time again. Formally able to pick up two, but there's nobody there to trade him. Hey, I guess the one good thing you have for Optic, you're getting out Slade, and you haven't really given up many streaks, but if you were to, this is the map they're, they're not going to exactly take over a map. That's why Krim mentioned that he liked this map when it first came in. It's like, it's going to be more gun on gun. It's just raw slaying power. Unfortunately, right now, they're just getting, they're getting beat up a little bit in that fight, but still very much in the game here, Joe. Yeah, they break on through. They go through the front of that hill. Karma was able to, uh, you know, pick up two. You can see, though, face. They're starting to rotate towards these smokestacks. The last hill in this first rotation, Crim6 has some streaks in his back pocket. He's waiting to call on that fighter pilot. As you can see, there's nobody really out in the open. Phase is pretty spread out, but here we go. He is waiting for that hard point to transition. Now it comes in, picks up one outside of it. You see at number two and Skump push forward, make sure they spawn out Phase, and it should be early control here as they transition over. 
Yeah, but the big thing was they got spawns. Optic Gaming, they're doing a great job there. Scrub able to find one. Phase, though, they're pushing through that middle of the map. You'd see he's on a force free now. As we said, he's going to turn things around. Crumb is able to pick up two. And again, Scump continues to go on this rampage because he has a five spree. Yeah, it's it's like clockwork. Yeah. You say eventually he's going to turn it around. He does it very quickly. And just like that, you see Optic the lead and Scump getting streaks from 3 and 12 to 9 and 12 in what seems like 30 seconds. Scump coming alive. And now they're taking control of this game. Yeah, he's on a seven spree. He's working on those full streaks as we're going to, you can see phase. They're already starting to rotate towards that ventilation room. A solid first half after a slow start for Scump. Eight seconds left. You can see all of Faze inside here. Attach able to find Karma, but Scump's going to be the first guy through. Here we go. So many entrances to worry about. They're not ready for that one. There's going to be the artillery barrage earned as well for Scump. Nade in. And the shots almost, but Zuma does what he can to at least pick up two. But Formal able to trade that out. Now for the ventilation room. It's Optic Gaming with early control. <laughs> Phase flood right back in, though, in a matter of seconds. Yeah, both trading back and forth and in really just time. But there's Crimsix rocking that bar. He's at 17 and 15. Replay's able to trade that out. But this is what we talk about with Valkyrie. Every single hill has a chance where you can earn 30 to 45 seconds based on your spawns if you're winning those key gunfights. Attach, he's worried about this next hill, this operations bunker that we're going to head to. He's very close to streaks as well. He's on a five spree. Team's just taking turns, going back and forth, but he's not able to pick up streaks. Yeah, he dies just a little bit short of that. And who else? Scump, who's been picking it up big time, is the one that's able to take that gunfight and make sure he doesn't pick up anything else. 20-point lead for Optic Gaming. Formal killed as he was trying to rotate out. You see that bottom right spawn come in for Scump and Formal. Rotation up for our next hard point here, Joe. Yeah, but are they going to expect those two players, those two Optic players, they had split spawns. Attach, there's one player going all the way around. That's formal. Attach is the last one left in this hill. Doesn't matter. Karma picking up two. They now have full control and face but him very far out. And look where Scump is. He's so far pushed out in the middle of that map. Yeah, pushing out is making sure they keep spawning deep and they can't quickly, you know, it's a small map. They, they can't just continue to flood and flood and flood until you get that eventual break. This is where Optic Gaming may be able to open up a decent lead. You know, it's been a 20 point contest throughout most of it. Advantage now. Up to 40. Still full streaks here for Scump. Still 30 or so seconds here on this hard point. This has been a very solid set here for Optic Gaming, Joe. And even Karma, now he started slow as well. He's got four kills in a row. And heck, he might be able to tack some streaks on Optic Gaming as well. I was going to say, though, Priesta needs to be careful there. He, he's going all the way around. There's only 15 seconds left. They want to start rotating. Look at that next hill. There's a couple Optic members already setting up. Scump still has full streaks face. They're going to realize that Scump and Crimsix are just hanging out. Look how they are spread out right now. 70-point lead for Optic as we head into storage. Replays does get both on the entry. So both those players set up early, and Krim and Scump do get picked by the STG at replays. We mentioned the streaks for Karma. He did get the fighter pilot to work with, so still a lot that could be huge at smokestacks. Lead still floating around 60 points. Optic Gaming now up to try and break. Attaches POV right now as he's just looking to hold. He is going to get pressured from Karma here in a moment. And on the other side, potentially Crim6. Yeah, there's a pinch coming in. You can see that one player priestess spawns all the way out. These are big kills coming in. Replays able to find one. Can he find the second on Scump? There's a player pinching him. Attach now. Trying to find that last player. Pulls out the pistol. Not able to finish it. Scump wins a big one-on-one. -on -one. Zuma, though, able to trade and push out the backside. He's gotten Crim, tries to jump and snap there onto Karma, but. Finally, will be traded out. Optic Gaming now breaking the 200-point mark. The lead getting scary right near, approaching 250. Even more scary for the phase side right now. And all those streaks again as we get to Smokestack. But let's hop to Office first. Inside will be phase here, first set up. Optic's going to try and get the break. Karma hitting up the mid-street with Crim6. Scump just came off spawn. The flood through the front. They're trying to get through, but so far, FaZe able to hold. And this is one of the hard points you mentioned. You can get 30 plus points on just about any hard point. FaZe, the chance to get right back in this game, if not take the lead, Joe. Yeah, the big key was is, well, Optic, they forced one player that was Priest to spawn out towards that store or that operations bunker, and he's able to pinch. But there we go, Optic, they go all the way around. You can see where FaZe is spawning Zuma. He's basically stuck in that office. He got trapped by all four players. A big break for Optic. And you can't allow them to get all this time because you know they have the streaks to still play behind. So you do see one phase player at least trying to see if maybe he can push in, win a one-on-one. -on -one. Nope, Scump's picked him up mid-street. You don't even allow the pressure to get the formal. And now this is the big break. This is where you got to think some of these streaks are going to end up coming in from Scump. Absolutely. Again, he still has all three. Looks like he's going to call that artillery in first. Let's see where he puts it. He's going to put it directly on the hill. So the big thing is as well, 
While FaZe can't earn, earn time, neither will Optic, but they're just fighting for those spawns. There goes three dead priests to the last one left over here. They're trying to just get as much time as possible, but again, that artillery strikes down, so Optic can't get in either, but there's a fighter pilot as well from Scum. Fighter pilot in. Able to pick up one, try to tag whatever else he can. Now into the hard point as the artillery clears will be Optic Gaming. As they look to close out the game, they can technically get it done here with a flawless hold. A lot of pressure coming into Karma. Gets one, gets away, re-challenges with the pistol. But not able to come up top. Behind him, though, is Formal, who gets two kills as he floods on through. Ten more points needed for Optic. Just under 20 on the clock. They can do it here. You have one more attack here for your phase. One more chance to break through. Priesta does get an injury, but there comes another streak. Live bomb in. Final seconds here. Map one to Optic Gaming. Optic Gaming able to get it done against FaZe. And, you know, when we came into the series, Phil, the first thing that you said was that you thought FaZe was going to be able to come out on top. But now, after we've seen Optic Gaming play in full form, do you think that FaZe still has the same shot that they did when we initially jumped in? For, for a second, I was really worried. Scumstart is so slow. However, he changed the 2 and 10 to a 17 and 16. That says a lot to me. Scump is starting to heat up on that main stage. This could be dangerous for FaZe. But we, we all kind of said when Optic Gaming, you know, hit that main stage, they hit this kind of hype moment like this is when they perform the back against the wall and, and phase it wasn't a bad performance it was it was a close game but i think optic gaming when they started to heat up and scum kind of got a, got ahead of that uh, it was lights out yeah well i i think there was a, a pretty solid job by both teams in this lane category there's not one player you can really point at and say they underperformed for phase it just felt like they gave up a, a many two streaks you know too many streaks especially on smokestacks that's where optic they're able to get a, a good amount of time phase won the rotation both times that hill they controlled the office they won rotation but those streaks come in for optic and well that's basically gg yeah we're going to be jumping in now to charlie live i want to move our focus away from the main stage for just a second and phil as we actually do jump in here e united versus Era Eternity. What was going on in the hard points to start things off? Well, just to recap, it was Era 250 to 177. Ricky and Pharaoh were a combined positive 25. Great performance, great rotations. And again, just to kind of update you elsewhere, ironically, the exact same score. Rise beat Echo Fox 250 to 177. They're actually 2 nil up after a 6-5. Uh, victory on S&D. And, and lastly, the APAC region, Mind Freak, coming up against Red Reserve, Shocks and Fighter. They close out map one, 250 to 238. They're looking hot as well. Mind Freak, for me, they're, they're showing up here in Atlanta. This, for me, could be their best uh, best line yet. Well, now definitely want to put our attention on to E United as well. Keep in mind, ERA and E United in the same pool as Optic Gaming and FaZe. So that match that's going on on the main stage, the stakes are very high for those two teams in this matchup as well, Clint. And if you're E United, you just need to get some maps here. I mean, you're sitting, what, one in six map count right now, I believe, in the pool? Yeah, I thought, I thought you know, the loss in Toronto in the grand final was going to be, you know, a catalyst. Like, oh, I... Man, I guess the Pro League maybe was enough of a wake-up call that they realized something was going on, but I really thought they were going to come in here with some kind of fire, and I mean, obviously you haven't seen that yet. Uh, I'll be completely honest, I don't think a wake-up call is what they need right now. Merck, uh, what's going on in this series, though? They they are starting to look uh, look alive here after ERA is going to be leading in the series. I mean, last weekend, what was it, Clint? They were fine in hardpoint, but they struggled in search and destroy. It just seems like they just keep flip-flopping well, their, their problems. They right? don't need a wake-up call now. They should have just had the wake-up call, which doesn't seem to have happened. Yeah, they just kept snoozing their alarms. You know? I guess, yeah. Doing it over and over again. <laughs> All right, well, we got a little taste of that. It doesn't look like they've fully been able to wake up yet, but we'll move our attention now back over to that alpha matchup. It's going to be FaZe versus Optic Gaming. FaZe has looked on fire throughout this entire tournament. You can't say the same about Optic Gaming, but they definitely did come alive inside of the first game of this one. But, Merck, is it fair to stay, say that they still started off relatively slow? What, Optic? Yeah. I, I don't think so. You know, I thought it was a, a pretty back-and-forth battle. You saw Krim really come alive live and then Skump get those streaks. It was just one player, Skump, and then he exactly. turned that around. If you are FaZe and you have Skump at 3 and 12, you need to have a lead, a significant lead, not a 20-point lead, not a 10-point lead. You need to be blowing the doors off that game, and uh, they weren't able to do that. Opti get back in the swing of things, and they were able to take over and close it out. But now it's time for, uh, for Search and Destroy here on Arden. We know Zuma on the one side can be the first Blood King. What can Optic do to here combat, combat maybe the pace you're going to see from FaZe Clan, Joe? Yeah, but I mean, we always talk about Arden Forest. Really, TJ. TJ is a similar player to Zuma where they want to run the map. They want to go on those flanks. They want to be the, the first guy in. But this is a tough one to do so. And Crimstakes are shooting the wrong team. The Finally, hell? they're able to trade that now a two versus two. 
Oh, you're fortunate to have a 2v2 here. I after had no that. idea what just happened. I don't either. The kill feed just looked awkward. <laughs> Krim, uh, Krim tacks on a couple team kills to his name, but also picks up one. But now let's see what Priest and Replays are able to do here. Up against Karma and Krim. You see Bomb maybe trying to get that down as Krim looks over him from that power position at Top Ruins. Yeah, there we go, 2v2. And it looks like FaZe, they're pretty spread apart right now. This is going to be a big gunfight. Krim stays able to find Priesta. It's now one versus two. Replace, he gets caught off by Karma. There's the call out. 30 seconds left. This is going to be tough for Replace to retake. Can he clutch the 1v2? Not when you have top control like that. Up to gaming round <laughs> Look one. Look at him smiling. Yeah, exactly. Know. Smiles, and that's what you want to see. You would think maybe after the error loss, a little <laughs> bit of a tilt. I, I've seen these guys argue for four hours after a pro, pro league match loss. You like to see the smiles there. Well, I, I think they're smiling because Krim killed yeah. two of his teammates, right? <laughs> I, I, I think the big gunfight was Karma picks up Zuma in that circle. If, if that goes a different way, then, uh, you know, Krim's left in a one versus three. They probably lose that round. Smiles may turn into frowns. Yeah, tears. Yeah, tears. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, solid round from Optic. Krim six. Well, he had five kills total that round, three on FaZe Clan. That's, that's unbelievable. And when you look at it, thinking that was a 2v2 and not FaZe doesn't have a single kill to their name. Zuma, though, All you right. talk about the first bloods. There's a pair of them as he pushes on into the B site. Both players of Optic Gaming wiped. And now they're going to have to play a 2v4 retake. Formal and Krim will have to try and make the play. Yeah, very tough to do. Very tough to retake this bomb site. There's just so many places. Even with that nade, right? He's probably going to weaken attach. But you need a couple of nades to take that teammate down. Priest to piece the corner. Krim now left in a one versus four. A solid response from FaZe. A quick response. I mean, those yeah. entry kills from Zuma. That is what he is known for. And, uh, yeah, when you pick up two in that scenario, you usually win your team around, especially when there's no one to trade it out. You can see how easy that was for FaZe. They're trying to battle back and get revenge here from that game one loss. Yeah, and Zuma, I mean, he did the same peak that Krim did. Krim just took down two of his teammates. Zuma found two of Optic, so two offensive wins. Let's see if any adjustments are made from FaZe. You can see a couple of STGs, and it looks like Optic, they're just going to go straight to that B site. Here comes the big hit. A lot of pressure then coming to Zuma. Here with Attach. They're going to be in a 2v4 until that player mid-map, which is going to be replays, maybe tries to give them a little bit of assistance. But you can see the stack at Bell right now for Optic. Nades being put in. Here comes the pressure. Zuma waiting inside. Oh. Zuma with a couple of kills to kick off this round as well. He gets pushed, finds the third, now working on the ace. Formal the last up, and this is dangerous because if Zuma hunts this kill, he's also going to get streaks. Formal's being pinched from the other side as well, and he will drop. Zuma just taking rounds over, man. Skump gets the first blood there, and Zuma instantly answers with two, then a third. It's impressive stuff. Yeah, and you saw what he did there. You saw attach as soon as he gets top ruins. He starts to go towards that circle to Zuma, but then the push comes in. Attach has to drop down low. Zuma switches with him, gets behind that B bomb site. And well, as you said, the smoke goes down and Zuma just has a clear path on the optic players. He's able to pick up three. Big plays from Zuma. He's still, what, a little bit off those streaks, right? He doesn't finish it, so he will need just an assist. Basically anything here, and he can get some added firepower to the arsenal. Not that it looks like he needs a whole lot more to work with right now. Yeah, and Optic, they go for that three bomb site sort of stack. There's one player, that's Krim6, going to go through Fire Alley. That should allow FaZe Clan to know that they gave up a bomb site. Zuma, the, going with the old-fashioned Zuma flank, able to find Formal. There's those streaks that we were talking about. Seven kills in a row now for Zuma. <laughs> 50 off the mortar. It's still only a 2-1 edge for FaZe. Well, there, another round tacked on, 3-1. But he has been just magnificent, man. This is going to be a four-minute S&D at this hey, rate. It feels like that. The rounds have been yeah. so quick. Final shots there from replays. And now if you're Optic, Joe, what do you do to try and answer? I mean, you, everything you're seeming to do in the opening, what, 30 seconds of the round seems to be countered by FaZe right now. Yeah, especially on defense. They have to try and switch something up. Maybe they try to take middle control. That's what we've seen some other teams do. Again, they had the right idea where they tried to stack that B bomb site phase, though. They just go right down the middle. As soon as that player, which was Krim6, gets caught out Fire Alley, all the information is theirs. So FaZe know exactly what they have on the map. Opt to it looks like they're going towards their default two middle and two to by that bell. Attach pushing forward. Getting multiple bullets into the shins of a couple players there at Bell. Zuma holding the inside. It's going to be so difficult for him to peek in this position. 
Now he's spotted out. He's going to back up and get a little bit of cover to work with here. Uh, they haven't even needed a third man to rotate over. Attach and Zuma are just shredding them. It's very rare that a team feels confident in taking like that 2v4 fight here at B. They've been doing it, man. Karma, though, may be able to make the play. He goes yeah, ahead and hits your fight. Did he, take it down. did he get a, like, a bit of a lucky timing there with Priesta, I think, hitting cave? Yeah, he must have. As, as Priesta went into that cave, as you said, he pushes up towards that cabin, but he gets shredded out 4-1 now for FaZe. And as you said, Zuma and Attach on that B bomb side have just been spectacular. Yeah, and usually, I mean, we've seen teams start a little bit more to on occasion put a third player inside that side or at least have a quick rotation for the one in mid if it's a four-man hit at bell they haven't needed any help no, the, they do. Yep. The, the, which is just nuts the fact they haven't needed any help it's i don't know if that's been a failure on the nades of optic to open things up whether it's the smokes or trying to nade anyone kind of behind that bomb in the power position but phase is just having no issue at all on that b side yeah, let's see what FaZe do now on offense. As you said, Zuma still has those streaks, but he's still playing very aggressive. That airborne assault rifle almost catches Crimson. I feel like he could have finished that one off, but he weakens too, and there goes that nade. He's not able to find anyone. There we go, Optic, they take mid control. There's that adjustment, but there comes the streaks. Glybomb coming in, he's trying to catch Crimson in the cabin. Gets a hit marker, but gains a lot of information. Replays there to trade. Zuma now walking his way up mid-map. He, uh, does he opt to go in behind and get that flank on again? Looks like he's just going to try and make a play for the bomb. Make sure he gets that in hand. They still have a man advantage right now. Attach is working towards streaks as well. Things just coming apart at the hinges right now for Optic Gaming. Yeah, you saw Zuma was putting some shots in, but for right now, he's just holding Optic in. You have one player attached, holding middle in and the flank. He's the key player right now, just trying to find as much information as possible. I feel like he just needs to back up. He's able to find one, but there's a trade. Scump now left in a one versus two. But another streak, full streaks coming in. He's going to be able to spot him. Doesn't look like it. So that's okay if you're Optic, but Scump in a very tough position. He just saw his head. He just got spotted by Zuma. Not an easy gunfight at all, but he does back Zuma out for a moment and wins the gunfight. Getting pushed, though, at the edge. Priesta, nice timing there to hit the edge. Make sure it, you know, Zuma, uh, Scump can't get reloaded. He can't reposition. He can't do anything, really. He's dead to rights. You just see it there perfectly. That was a good job by Zuma to stay alive long enough. I mean, you think that's a gunfight Zuma's going to be winning in the first place, but at least he survives long enough for the trade to come in. Yeah, exactly that. Great teamwork out of phase. So you have more streaks on the Priesta. Optic, what adjustments are they going to make? It's going to be very tough for them to come back into this one, down 5-1. to one. <laughs> Yeah, we haven't seen many of those comebacks. But you can see right now the crowd kind of quiet. It's just been this game two hasn't been close. It's been all phase. I think I hear some chance attempting to start. Might be late in the game. <laughs> it's a 5-1 lead for phase. But there's a pick. Krim six able to open it up. Yep, great it, first blood from Krim. If there's a team that can make a crazy comeback, it's this Optic roster. 4v2 advantage now early in this one. Yeah, and Optic, as soon as that first blood comes in, they take control of middle. They find that last guy as he was on that cabin wall. Attached now left in a one versus four. Very quick offensive round for Optic. And that's the first round you felt like kind of confident in what Optic was doing. The fact that they were able to take it very easily. The first blood, obviously, a big part of it. But at least <laughs> at least if you lose this game, you had one round, which looked, uh, I don't know, you know moving as a cohesive unit. You know, you saw, I think it was TP tweeted after the Lost Era. He's like, I don't think it matters what maps and modes we're playing right now. It's just, it's our teamwork. It's just, I don't know if it's the comms that's the issue or just more of the buddy system just working together within the game. But something, something seems to be a well, little bit off. We felt like last year, right, especially in search and destroy, Formal had to be that in-game leader, right? He transitioned to that. So I don't know if he's still doing that. But Zuma, again with that airborne. STG able to find Love that it. first blood. Love it. And after that, you imagine the streaks are going to come in from Zuma and Priesta. Replays with another one on a Crim6. Four versus two now. This should be the game for FaZe. Fighter pilot in. Trying to connect, but not able to do so. Though at least uh, live to see a little bit more of the round here. But it will be two versus three. Priesta wants to invest a streak as well. <laughs> yeah, that's the scary part. If you're the non-mountain player here, are you able to get the safety? Formal still hiding in that, that dome area. Zuma's got to know he's there. The call to command is trying to get the angle on him. Formal still holding the backside. Going to need check that as well. He knows he's back here. He's pushing it. Formal caught. Now it's all on Scump to try and continue this game. Has to clutch up in a one versus three. Gets forward. Might catch Priest. Priest gets behind the bomb and shreds him. Series tied up at one apiece. FaZe able to get the victory there. Yeah, what a response from FaZe Clan. Just very fast. I mean, really, that first round was pretty solid. Crimson gets those two. Gets two on those teammates as well. But after that, FaZe just take over. They make some defensive adjustments. Zuma and attach at the, that B bomb site were just dominant. 
Well, phase right now. They are in control of Pool C. It's Optic with the loss to Arrow that are trying to answer back. It's a 1-1 series. London Dock CTF around the corner. Can Optic get this victory? They're going to need incredible performance here, Joe. CTF, you know, the bread and butter of this phase team, when you look back at Dallas, this is somewhere they feel very, very confident. You can say the same for Optic Gaming as well, but it comes down to this. Who takes the swing game? Who gets control of the series? We'll find out after this quick break. Goodness, Atlanta, we have a series on our hand. One in one, FaZe Clan versus Optic Gaming on the main stage. And Pool C is just uh, the pool to watch right now, Clint. It absolutely is. And for this series, Rich, I mean, we're headed to a CTF. And you take a look at Optic and FaZe so far. Optic 0 and 2 in CTF, like a 0.9 Team KD. FaZe 2 and 0 in CTF with a 1.1 Team KD. So. If you look at just the stats, you feel pretty good about FaZe in the CTF, but I don't know. Sometimes a series like this, man, when it's Optic versus FaZe and the crowd's all into it, throw stats out the window. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes in a scenario like this, the, the stats simply do not matter, even though we have seen FaZe historically be very strong at this game mode. But FaZe currently has been on a tear before they did get here. 2-0 and oh in Pool C. And Moa, Pool C, just the group of death here in Atlanta. Yeah, just a quick update as well. United win the search and destroy, so that is currently tied up 1-1. 
one. Everything is going down to the wire. This is going to be a, such a close pool, especially if Optic take this over phase. This is going to get insane. When was the last time, Joe, can you remember the last time Optic would have came out of a pool play into losers? Last Atlanta? Was it all the way back to last Atlanta? Is that what it was? That's my guess. Okay. No, I, I was just thinking, I mean, it's, it's not a very common occurrence, obviously. Oh, no. I, mean, I, was, yeah. just, I was just trying I think, to think of when last that was. Atlanta. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it might have been last yeah. Atlanta. Yeah, I'm trying to actually remember that last Atlanta. And that's over, over a year ago. I, I think that's when they had to play against Fastball uh, and that squad, right? So, yeah, definitely. That's a crazy 1v1 that <laughs> saved their team. <laughs> yes, it did. We've heard that before. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to be jumping straight into this one. All tied up phase versus Optic. Here we go, Joe. The swing game. Let's head to the CTF. Uh, it is my favorite CTF. London Docks. Sure? It's fast. It's furious. It's high scoring. And uh, I think this one with these two squads. Ah, oh, God. This could be a this could be a high scoring affair. Clint, I always saw you as an Arden Force. Kind of I guy. hate you. <laughs> okay, I well, love you. But here we go. I'm bored with Zuma. And again, it just takes one of these players to to really let it up. It could be Scump. It could be Zuma. Heck. Could be even a guy like Karma or replays. We'll see here. Zuma, though, with that first blood, just trades back and forth. Karma in week four, I can't remember the exact matchup, but on this particular map, man, he had so many, so many heads up plays, so many clutches, but unfortunately for them, oh, hey, look at that. Karma comes in, he cleans up the kill at home. Granted, the, the guy that was grabbing the flag was basically in a one versus three and to come back through Skump, but some early offense from Base Clan. But back to it, yeah, Karma. He led the way here. He, he was absolutely stellar. He had so many clutch plays with those 1v1s or sneak plays. You expect him to excel in a mode like this. Yeah, you, I mean, there's guys like Karma. There's guys like Jake Cap where they're just CTF gurus, right? This is a, a game type where they have so much experience. And look at this play. Look at what Formal's doing. He's going to overextend. None of phase are going to back up. They spawn lower docks. None are going to worry about it. Attach trying to watch that cross. But a, a couple of kills go towards Optic Gaming's way. And Formal's going to get a fly pull. There you go. Two. Go down, Crimson is able to pick up two. And here's a pull for, for Formal. Here we go, where's he gonna take this? He stuns into fire, Great and stun. he's gonna push this out to Docs. He knows he hit one, he wants to take this gunfight. Hasn't found him yet, he did spawn them out street. Uh, as his teammates drop, he knows he's in a little bit of trouble here. He just spotted attached mid, Priest is gonna push him. He's not able to win that gunfight, probably one he should have taken, but even if he did, likely they traded out. Now you now you got a counter cop opportunity. Yeah, I was just gonna say, as soon as those kill, kills go down, Face already in optics. Face replays gets the flag out, able to trade that kill on a crim six. Attach watching that over extend. That should be a one zero lead to face. Wow, and that's all you know. They, they, they like you said, they decide not to send anybody back. They send the foreman up and let formal kind of grab that flag, wow. and it ends up going their way as they pick up the kills at mid. Can they tack anything else onto this? Nope. The clear at home here for Optic Gaming, but Karma, he's across the map. He's going to have a one-on-one -on -one with Priest. Priest at the box. Priest able to melt him there before he can get to cover. Yeah, Priest doing a great job so far. Six and four, and really just looking at that scoreboard. Scump having another slow start. One and five. We, well, we know he's going to turn around. Formal, though, in fire, staying alive. There's one player, though, that overextended that Zuma. Formal just saw a glimpse of him. Replay's able to take down Formal, and Face should be able to defend their base. They still got Priest to here. Attach coming in off spawn as well. Water side control for Crim6 though. I mean, he's just relying on his teammates to make a play and fire. Someone's got to win a couple of gunfights here. There comes the push. It's Scump around the edge. Scump, Scump gets both. That's exactly what Crim needed. Now he can help oh, Scump. Stun. Oh, wow, Scump. The stun comes in. Zuma able to clear them both up, but that was a pretty, really nice... It was what, kind of a 2v4 there for Krim and Skump, and they almost made it work. Yeah, I love what FaZe did, though. They just ignored Krim6, right? He's on that crane position. Just ignore him. Try to get in the fire. Skump, though, able to find two. Because if FaZe just cleaned up Skump, then, well, Krim's all alone at crane. They'll hit him from multiple angles, clean that up. But a great job by Zuma to save that. He's on a three spree right now, eight and six. Still, though, FaZe stuck in their base in this fire, try to trying to get this base control. This should be the start of it. Replace finds one on formal. And this is this is one of the lower scoring games we've seen on a London Docks. Yeah, well, here we go. <laughs> now, now, yeah, everybody dropping for Optic Gaming. Formal first one off spawn. Everybody will be following, but not before FaZe gets into position. That's why this could be a high scoring game. Look how quickly you can get across the map and get set up. Now a fighter pilot in. This could earn him a glide bomb as well if he's able to pick up the kill. Tagging. But it's that's Priest. He actually gets Priest there. May Yikes, that's going to make this difficult to turn into a score. Where do you kill him? Like around Cole? Yeah, Cole. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that, that would have been a lot different of a push probably if you still had Priest involved. It definitely would have. <laughs> Attach is able to find one on Formal. There is one player overextending. That's Karma. He's able to find one on Priesta. He's going to pull this flag, and he has help from Scum. This could be a great attempt, but Zuma spawns up. Almost finds the second. It's going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. Replays versus Karma. 
Karma takes too long. He will have reinforcements. There we go. Replay spots him, but Karma keeping this flag run alive. Ah, uh, just gets caught there, kind of in between a sprint is through mid alley, comes attached and is able to pick up the kill. Under 60 seconds to go here, Joe. Can Optic tie this up? Can FaZe maybe add anything onto this lead? You hear the crowd starting to get behind this Optic Gaming side. They know how big this game three is. The push starting to build up the map right now as they begin to layer the map. Zuma, though, halts anything. Zuma goes big there at mid, finds a kill, drops. It's Zuma got a third. Zuma just kills everything really on Optic, man. The guy on a tear, 13 to 9, a three streak, 20 seconds remaining. He wants to make a play behind it. Unfortunately, as a nade comes in, he tries to reposition and, and will be cut down there. Yeah, I would have loved to see him just slow down there. You know, you have one last push. There's only 12 seconds left. If you get that touch, you can send it into extra time. Now, two versus two. Priesta, though, the last one left. He did find two kills. But he has no help. It should be a 1-0 lead for FaZe as we go into that second half. There we go. First half. Low scoring affair, but predominantly FaZe controlled. You had a chance for a score with the Scumpin' uh, uh, scump Trim 6 push. You had a chance with Karma there at the end, but everything shut down. And a big part of that, the Italian Stallion. What Zuma's been able to do, he's made big play after big play. And uh, we've, I mean, he's, been in, he's been in peak form, but there's a shot of the Optic Gaming side who's going to take over here in the second half to give him a chance in this game. Yeah, we shall see. Again, looking at that scoreboard, a solid performance from everybody. Really in, inside this game, I guess a, a pretty slow game for Scum, but again, it's only a 1-0 lead. Crim6 has some early gunfights here. Karma trying to find that player. That was Zuma. He does get taken down, and now Faze, you can see they're slowing down a little bit. You have replays watching over Priest. A Priest in a, in a nice little spot, but Scum trades that one. And this is a map where uh, so frequently you see like a score in the first 60 seconds because there's like an immediate three or four down. Both teams have played so well that they haven't really left that hole, at least in the opening moments. Formal still in a position here, Docs. Zuma gives his position away and then gets beamed. Formal on a five streak, one kill away from Streets. Needs to try and play his life. Streets could Absolutely. be the game changer. Absolutely. For Optic. And now you got a chance here to push in. Ah, uh, well, his attach takes off Karma's head. It slows things for a moment. Oh. Obviously, that's a tough gunfight to take against. He almost won it. Yeah, he did. He did. Probably at that, like, six-bullet range. Just needed a couple more. Oh, my God. Formal heating up right now. There's a glide bomb. He's at least... Or not a glide bomb. Sorry, fighter pilot. So he's at least able to get one streak there. But now a chance for FaZe. They've got three up. They're pushing across. Crim six, okay. Well, that, that'll shut down any push and fire. Yeah, that's a great play out of Crim to get fire control. Finds a third as well on lower docks. Zuma, the last one left, but again, he's been so annoying to deal with for Optic. Crim, though, gets all four, clears out phase, and he's already on the attack. That's one way to get on the attack. Wipe out the entire team. Crim six now has the STG to work with. He's got a sub in his hands as well. He sees replays in the back, and that's, that's, uh, that's where the AR can be so, so helpful. Replays, though, able to get the better of him. You still have three players here. And, and look, at, look at that minimap. There's two players. That was Zuma and Priesta. They just overextended. There's a one-on-one -on -one in the base. Priesta getting that flag out. There's one player of, of Optic Scump, though. Here we go. Krim, Priesta, Priesta wins it. This could be another flag for FaZe. It's looking that way. Unless Karma could be a hero or the streak of Formal could be big. He is able to at least stop the flag for a moment. Will that get Karma in in time? Formal gets three with that. But there's still nobody in position right now for the return. You still have Attach up. Attach wins a one-on-one. -on -one. Tries to get back across. But Formal now gets a full team clear. Three with the fighter pilot. One on the cross. And that's a big play. The 2-0 edge would have been a whole lot scarier. But as it stands, two and a half minutes remaining here for Optic Gaming to tie and maybe try and take this lead. I was going to say Karma was sneaking through, but somebody that was attached, what a heads-up play by him. Recognizes as that lane was open. Scump, the last guy left in barrels, does find two. But again, face they've just been playing such great defense so far throughout this game. Yeah, two think, minutes left. I think that's what speaks to why this has been so low scoring. I mean, it just it keeps going big on defense time and time again. Now maybe a little bit of offense. Zuma picks it up, but there's still so many players here at home. It would have been nice if maybe Attach was pushed into fire a little bit earlier. He could have helped him there, but as it stands, he tries to patrol mid-map. They're going to leave their flag. They don't need the return. Let that return on time and get across the map. Yep, Scump already in a great position. Finds a first on Zuma. And that's why you sprint across immediately like that. No hesitation. Zuma not prepared for it at all. Two on two, though, in the base now. Now Full two chance. versus one. Barista. Karma's able to find the second. Zuma, though, spawns up, and he's been the clutch player for FaZe all game long. Finds a first on Krim. 
Couple of shots on Karma. Oh, I can't finish it. Karma gets to the edge. Formos now wins. Zuma's doing everything he can, but it's not enough. Tie game, one to one. Karma, what I tell you, he's only 13 and 20, but he needs to make the plays in CTF, man. He'll get it done. Now can he get some streaks behind that? Maybe, oh, no, nope, the answer's no. No, he Not cannot, Joe. The attack's on for FaZe. Krim, no, Krim's been locking down fire all, all half long for Optic. And again, finds a second on to attach. 20 and 16 for Krim 6, but here's Zuma. Zuma finds two. Scump gets done. The last guy left is really Zuma once again. Oh, oh, almost oh, wins that gunfight yeah. on, a, on a Karma. That's when you know you're feeling confident when you're challenging <laughs> a one-on-one -on -one there with, with pressure at the back box. But Zuma is up to 24 and 20. You mentioned this water side control from Krim. All game long, he finds another kill, opens this side there up. Now there's only one player at home. It's going to be Zuma. Will he check the close corner? He checks it, and Krim's able to win it. Flag is out. Players coming in off spawn. Faze. Faze in trouble. 30 seconds remaining. It's Krim on the sprint right now to take the lead, and they're still applying pressure here on the opposite side. There's the lead change. There's the score. Optic Gaming with the edge. Yeah, look at that mini map. You can see Zuma and Parisa, they're going. They have to hit it quick. Formal still in the base. He's going to find one on attach. He's going to pull this flag, but Zuma, Zuma's on the other side, able to find two. How many He's going to pull top street. We're going to head into extra time. How many times is Zuma going to find two pieces, man, when he's trying to make plays? Priest now still in the base. And look where they're all. They're stuck down low, right? God. Replays is going to have a great angle here. They have to find these kills fast. Attach on one side, trying to find one on scum, but replay snuck in. He might have snuck in. Did that one player see him? It looks like he did. He did. He Great did. defense. He's still here the though. last one left. Priesta, can he make the play? He's got two players to deal with. Only 45 seconds remaining. That, that may have been the key kill. 40 seconds left. Three players now coming off a of spawn. They're going to have one more crack at this, and you see. Formal just trying to get closer to his base. You know, time is on your side. Make them get the entire way across the map. And look at where you have Scump set up. Look at where you have Karma set up. It's almost impossible for them to try and make a play when you've got them tucked away in corners, punishing 10 feet outside of their spot. That's it. He wins the gunfight. GG Optic Gaming going to win this one 3-1. to one. Wow, wow, wow. The swing game. It is Optic Gaming in the clutch. You were looking at a 1-0 lead for FaZe for so, so long there, Joe. But Optic come alive. What an incredible performance. And now they're looking at that 2-1 edge, buddy. Yeah, they just won a couple of key clutch gunfights. Crim 6 big so many times in that second half. Not only in fire, but also on that key one-on-one -on -one that he found in the base. And he's able to really find that lead for Optic Gaming. And it's just, you know how big multi-kills are, especially in CTF, when you have that long respawn, seven and a half second respawn. You, you just, I kept thinking, man, some of those two pieces, three pieces for Zuma was going to have to turn into a little bit of offense. But as much as we talked about the phase defense, how impressive it was, you can say the same about Optic when it went down the stretch, man. They did not have any many holes in the defense. They clutched up whenever they need to. And uh, now they have an advantage here in this series. Uh, impressive, impressive uh, stuff. They, they definitely do. Phase though, they, they were looking like they were going to be completely invincible. And now Optic finds their feet late into this series. Now it's going to be two to one, Phil. Yeah, it, it, you just look, got to look at Optic and the way they can't come, up, come out of that one. They're 1-0 down for so long. They kind of never give up, but it almost just all starts to come together like a little piece of the puzzle. Outside of that, though, we do have a 2-1 victory, a 2-1 lead for Error at the moment over E United. That's the same pool as this. I will say, we go into a hard point and Clayster pulls out the M1 Garen and I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? Things are starting to heat up. Uh, Rise, a 3-0 victory, a clean sweep over Echo Fox and Red Reserve cl clutch up on map number three. That's going to go to a game four minimum. It, Echo, it's Fox, all heating up. Echo Fox, just like either what, they've been swept or swept every time? Yeah. They have two oh threes and a 3 0 and, and just to point out, they lost overtime CTF, they lost round 11 S&D to Rise. They, they were close games. Uh, well, we we just have to look at that last game, though. I want to draw our attention back there. It's easy to call this one. It's going to be your play of the game presented by Scuff, and this is the back-to-back -back caps that Optic Gaming is able to get to get back into this. Yeah, and that, that was where you were talking, Joe. You thought maybe it was what Priesta able to sneak in there. Sorry, Replay is able to sneak mm -hmm. in and make a play, but I think Crimsick spotted him at the last second, and that's where you saw Formal turn around. But wow, man, that was that was nuts. And look, I love the one and two on the mini map here. Yep. You see Carmen Scump get a bit in position. Just tuck away in a corner. Go ahead and run on bias. And those and kills seal the game. Is. Yeah, look where Krim is as well. So they have all three lanes locked down. They allow them to just run by them, and then they both go at the same time. You see that one and two, as you said, and he wins this one on one, puts the game away, allows Optic to secure that last cap.
Yeah, just nice and easy for Optic Gaming. They put up the fight in the later portions of that CTF, but now, you know, you can't count out FaZe yet. I think this could very easily go to a Game 5, Joe. Yeah, definitely so. And, and again, if, as you're talking about with Era Eternity, if they're going to win that series against the United, that puts everybody at a 2-1 tie. Obviously, you have that pool play team or that open bracket team coming into this pool. It can make things dangerous, but if all three of them win that, it's then three teams at 3-1, and one, which is then comes down to the map record between those players. So you want to get as many maps wins as possible if you're these three teams. I saw Krim tweet something of the likes, like, hey, we really need a 3-0 or 3-1, right? Considering yeah. Arrow went in. Right now, uh, I, I, you can't go to a game five. You need you need to close it out here, man. They, they, Optic needs to get to victory. We're going to stay on London Docks, but the longer the series goes, the more maps you give up, the scary. It comes a position where, Joe, where you don't like control your own destiny, you know? Yeah, exactly that. Ready to jump right back into this one. Optic Gaming just one game away from taking the series. They need to do it here. The map count is going to be so important moving forward in Pool C, but FaZe Clan going to put up a fight. Here we go, London Docks, and this is where you talk about that third submachine, submachine gun. Who's going to get the edge? So much, so much power on either of these teams. We just talk about overall power with the submachine gun, but uh, I, I don't know, man. I, this this one can go either way. Yeah, it definitely can. You know, those flex players, you know, Priesta versus Formal, that'll be a big one. You see off the start, both teams running two assault rifles, but that'll just be for the break. They're going to end up switching to a third PPSH. One thing that did stand out recently, remember, Optic Gaming was the team that first handed Red, well, headed to Red Reserve their first loss on London Docks, and it was like a, it was a smashing. I mean, they just came in and crushed them there. So you know the potential there, really, for both teams to take over here. Yeah, definitely so. But again, the slaying back and forth. I mean, FaZe has been solid in that category. Just a few clutch plays that have give, given Optic the, the lead right now. There we go, Optic Gaming. They're going to get these last 15, but they're also pushing for these top street spawns. One player, that's attached, He's trying to clean up that guy, but isn't able to do so. Karma, he's going to get the last seven. You can see as we look above from this sky camera, Priesta in that corner, but Skump wins that one-on-one. -on -one. He checks the corner, picks it up, and now look how far away you're spawning if you're phase. That is the, like the last area, top left. Look at how, let's see when they actually take first engagements here. How much time is going to go off this hard point? They're now trying to set up in the back. You're waiting to push through Cole in mid-map, and here we go. This is going to be, what, a solid 15 seconds has already gone to Optic Gaming before you're taking your first crack at this. Yeah, and replay, he was trying to hunt down Crim6, but Crim6 wins that. Skump already has some streaks on a five spree. Him and Crim have really taken this one over. And again, they have to find Crim because they're not able to push through that middle. A six spree for Crim. So far, so good for Optic Gaming. And, you know, FaZe had an early lead. They couldn't bury Optic when Skump started slow. Now you get streaks on the other side for Skump and Krim early. This, this Optic team is one that can bury you early. You give them an early edge, you give the slang advantage to them, you give the streaks to them, and it could be a quick hard point. Yeah, it definitely can. FaZe Clan, they're going to start to look, you know, look towards this lower dock, start to rotate. They can get right back into this one with a solid hold. But streaks, as you said, and Krim 6 is on a tear. Absolutely. Eight spree so far. That is not what you want to see if you're a face fan. Krim feeling himself throughout this series, but fully streaked out. First in the Docks Warehouse is going to be FaZe Clan. Freesta replays trying to do what they can inside to hold on. Karma's next man up, but you're a little bit staggered there if you're Optic Gaming. They're going to have to reset. And now you have your first four-man push at this, but if you're FaZe, you've already picked up at least a decent little chunk of time here, and you need this to be a solid hold for FaZe. If this was a, an easy break for Optic Gaming, you could have kind of put this out of reach a little bit early. Yeah, you definitely could. Zuma gets taken down by Karma. Karma and Formal now, they're going to contest this hill, and that's fine if you're Optic. Replay staying alive, trying to buy time for reinforcements, but they push through. Now they're thinking about this barrel building, right? They're going to give up these last 20 seconds, start to rotate over here. When do you think we start to see these streaks come out for Optic? Is it going to be maybe in rotation here, or are we going to see it come into Crane? They've, they've got a little bit to work with. Did you get two streaks for both of them? They might not need them. They might oh, not need them here. Okay, wow. So I ask if the streaks will need to be used, and right after that, the entire kill feed goes green, nine. and now they've got the back spawns. Yeah, nine kill streak just right there for Optic Gaming. All four players really turning it up. And well, there's some mortars that are going to be called in. Just cut off that front. Don't allow them to, them to contest, and there's two kills for Krim. And this is interesting because you know, I've talked to Krim about this map for his team, and he doesn't need to usually be flashy. Well, look at the Priest of Flank here as he's going to come in from my, but typically this is where you need your three subs to come off. You don't rely on Krim to get a ton of kills, and he's 15 and 7. Look at him to compare to everyone else in the game right now. Yeah, Unreal. Having, having a great performance. Again, called in that fighter pilot. They're just trying to get as much time as possible, as you said. Put FaZe away early on. Don't allow them back into this game. This is a big 20 seconds. FaZe is fighting for it. Krim 6, he's going to get set up for low, for this Crane Hill. So 
Exactly. He's rotated very early, spawns his team bottom as well, so they're going to have a four on two really here as FaZe tries to push across. Replays, well, replays turns into a two on two very quickly as he wins a couple of gunfights there inside of fire. But unfortunately for FaZe, you've still got Krim here to deal with. Krim wins one, can't win the second. Priesta does a good job. Him and replays really in a 2v4. Give his team the spawns there. Yeah, there's some streaks for Priesta. That's a good sign if your face attached. Look how far he has pushed up in that docks. They find another one on Crim6. There's a fighter pilot, though. That's going to be called in from Scum. That's just going to not allow FaZe to earn some time. It's a 50-second lead now for Optic. It could have got very dangerous, but things start to go towards FaZe's way, as you can see. That whole kill feed is red as you have what? A six spree right now for FaZe. And you have those streaks now for Priest as well. I, I think you feel pretty good of your FaZe. You know, you were getting blown out early. You gave streaks to a couple players in Optic Gaming, but you're still only trailing 30, and now you got full streaks for Priesta. Still very much alive and well. It's like Optic Gaming, they invested some streaks. They tried to deal the death blow early. FaZe survive it. Yeah, I was just going to say, the composure from FaZe, right? If you're Optic, you're like, let's try to end this right now. But FaZe, as you can see, they continue to turn it up. Only a 22-second game. It'll be about 15 second lead as we go into the next set of hills. Statue though, this is one we've talked about it where you can earn Certainly. a good amount of time if you're optic or phase. More and more we see teams with sick holds here at mid map. Some streaks do come in. Right now it's phase inside. You can see a bit of a split right now for Optic Gaming. A lot of pinch opportunity here and that's exactly what happens. You have one in docks, one in mid cut, one inside of that barrel building as well. And there's the full clear, and there's control. More. Unfortunately, there's a mortar on your head, Karma. Yeah, but that's two streaks on this middle hill. You know, you have a fighter pilot and a mortar strike, but a couple of kills from Priest and Zuma. Full control now for FaZe. You can see you have number five that's attached. Watching this top street alongside Priesta. They know the rotation's going to come in from, Op from Optic. There's Formal. The attack is on from the green wall. Three go down. Priest has, try has to try and hold this line. Can you find two? He does. A great job by Priesta right there. Priesta. I mean, who cares if you use two streaks as statue if you're going to pick him up again? He's getting darn close. He's dealing with multiple players here in lights. We know what an incredible flex player this man can be. Priesta capable of doing it all. Now the pressure does come in. Zuma gets two, but Priesta will drop. Last man here for Optic is going to push through lights. That's going to be Crim6. They know he's here. He tries to get away so he can develop the pinch. Oh, <laughs> nothing works out there, and lead change. Phase now in front. They've been trailing throughout the entire game. It was all optic early, but you know what? You are getting a performance out of Krim that is kind of unusual on, on a map like London Docks. The person that's got to pick it up is Karma. You need all three Everyone. of your subs to be getting it done. Well, yeah, well, you're right. All, this is like, that almost looks like a stat line from something like St. Marie. If you're optic gaming right now with all three subs struggling, like how are you supposed to win a game when all three subs are negative? Yeah, and you can see there, call a glide bomb in. They're not going to allow FaZe to get to that last 15. Well, they're going to hear it right on it. The spawns are there. Do you, I, I don't know if I agree with that decision. They call in the glide bomb. They try to get a few seconds off that clock, but again, Optic, though, they have rotated to this lower docks. We saw phases where they started to turn it around. You can do the same thing for Optic, but what a second half for phase clan. Here we go. Scump able to find one on, on replace. Krem 6, though, on the backside. Formal wasn't able to trade it out yet, but they're still racking up time here inside of docks. Nice job there. Gets a little bit of help as well. Scump already pushed up there to front barrels, but he does get dropped with 40 seconds remaining. Now there's a pinch developing. Yeah, number insane. 8 on the minimap. Priest is going to be coming in behind. Will they be ready for this? Some nice shots onto one. Headshot onto a second. Even though he gets those kills, though, the collapse hasn't come in yet. We've already 30 seconds in this harbor. Here you go. Now it's going to be a three on two. Make it a three on one. Four on with the last man up. He will drop. There's the break. Scump is still there. He can actually contest for a little bit of time. But now we've got to focus on the fight for spawns here for the barrel building. It's Zuma in the backside. He is being a thorn in the side of Optic Gaming. Yeah, we talked about those flex players. Look at Priest at 24 and 17 with 90 seconds in the hill on the other side. Formal. He has two minutes in the hill, but 16 and 20. So Priest outperforming him so far. Fighter pilot being called in from face. Zuma's going to find one, but nothing else from Optic. This will allow them to push up a little bit. There's a glide bomb coming in as well. They're just trying to get Optic off this time. Able to do so. Priest finds one on a formal. Priest just going absolutely huge right now. There's still one Optic gaming member inside. That's Karma. He's doing whatever he can to contest, to rack up any kind of time. Jumping at the edge, though, and who else? It's Priesta picking up another kill. It just seems him and Zuma are going big time and time again. 28 kills for both of them. Priesta's got over 90 seconds in the hard point to work oh, with time. as well. It's 
Still contested though here. Joe Face Clan not able to crack that 200 point mark. You get all this time for Optic Gaming, and we've got basically, I think it'll be exactly a tie game if they get all this time. Yeah, it will be. Here we go into that Crane Hill. If we can, let's run through the players really quick. See how many streaks we have left. It may be none. Krim says he's working on some on the face side. You don't have any, so no streaks left on either side. There we go. Crimsix, though, he finds a couple. This could be big as we go, especially into that top street. He's trying to find the last one, though. A great hold from FaZe Clan. Will Crimsix decide to invest into any here? It looks like it. He hasn't moved off spawn. There's that fighter pilot. It's coming in. Connects with Zuma, picks up a tag there control. and drop fire as well. But yeah, FaZe get the close spawn there at the water side, so they're looking good. Priest on another streak. See if he can get his, I think, third set of full streaks. Is he he's able to do it? But no. <laughs> Krim is beaming right now. Yeah, no, Krim is man, on another level. I mean, 35 and 21 is one of the more impressive performances I've seen from an AR on London Docks. Phase, they've pushed out near that 220 mark. Inside the hard point, though, finally going to be Optic Gaming. Buying three kills from Scump. He's got three in a row, four in a row from Krim6. Plenty more streaks be coming in here. They're racking up a lot of time here at Crane. This is an incredible hold here down the stretch from Optic Gaming. Usually a very scrappy hard point. You get a lot of time there. And yet again, we're going to close out a hard point with very darn close to a tie game here, Mark. Yeah, we are. As we head into the next Statue Hill, our third rotation of hills. Phase they have early control, but again, Crim6 on a 6 free. He's going to make it 7. 39 and 21 from Crim6. He's fighting another player. That's Zuma. Zuma, he's going to get that player off of that hill. Formal able to find two. Krim, he's being flanked. This is a big kill. He's not going to get streaks. Big kill from Attach. That's huge. Huge. Just sh shuts him down a little bit short. There's still one player in the hard point. There is the clear. 222 for Optic. 225 for FaZe. You get a split spawn here now for Optic Gaming. They've got to get to mid-map. You cannot let FaZe close it out here. It's Statue. It's Skump able to clear at least one out. But you have the spawns for the next hard point in FaZe Clan. And I don't think you have any more streaks to work with right now if you're Optic Gaming. So this will put you, God, real close to winning it. But you're still going to be, what, about 10 points or so short. This is going to come down to whether or not FaZe can hold this first wave. When the rotation comes in from Statue, can FaZe hold? But look at that player. Let's let's go over to Karma. Karma's going to be the big player. He's going to find Priest. Priest, I'm going to turn it at the right time. No. Here's going to start the attack. Ten seconds from closing this series is Optic. But FaZe have control of this main street. A couple of kills goes Optic way. But a bait nade out of Priesta. Priesta picks up two there with the sticky attach, though, and company backed up. There's a team kill. Zuma picks up attach, but Zuma at least able to clear one, pushing out of lights. In the hard point for a moment was Optic Gaming. 240, 240, it all coming down to this. Crim6 should be able to hop into this hard point. Face Clan, they have to push through the backside of beer. They haven't been able to clear out Optic Gaming. Krim finally going one to drop. Attempt, this Three four points needed. Bang, bang, Optic. Close out the series. Optic Gaming able to close that one out. Goes down to the wire there in that hard point, but it's going to be three to one Optic Gaming. My goodness, that team kill at the end, Joe. Yeah, I mean, that was a big one, but FaZe, I mean, they turned it around, right? There was a giant lead for Optic. Krim was going.